Hello, I coded this a bit earlier and I thought I'd do an SVG version as well because that's what SVG is for. So um, let's see. Um, I would just take this uh, bit for the body um, and just uh, put it right here because I'm going to uh, use it. And here I'm going to have an SVG. Um, the SVG is going to have with um, 100 people for minimum units uh, and it's going to have opacity 0.5 um, here I'm also going to set uh, display flex I'm also going to set align item center uh, justify content center Okay, and this is it for the CSS. Now I'm just going to move uh, here and I'm going to have an SVG dimension. And this is going to be 100. And then I'm going to have the offset for the view box. And this is going to be minus half this uh, dimension. Uh, then I'm going to have an outer radi radius. And this one is going to be uh, 0.9 times uh, no, 0 0.45, 0 0.9 will be the diameter, uh, times this cell dimension. Uh, so let's write that. So I'm going to have view box and offset along the two axes, dimensions along the two axes. And now I'm going to join this. Okay. Next, I'm going to have a circle uh, with the radius equal to the outer radius. And now I should be seeing it. Okay, that looks fine. Uh, next, I'm going to have um, a path. Um, and this one uh, is going to have... So I'm going to have an inner radius. And this inner radius uh, is going to be something... I'm going to make it something like 0.35. Uh, let's see how that works out. So I'm going to start at 0 uh, minus the inner radius and then I'm going to have an arc uh, which takes the inner radius. Um, actually I'm just going to uh, copy paste this uh, and then I'm going to have um, this should give me the arc. Uh, so I'm going to have a stroke here. So um, stroke um, blue Okay, so uh, this should be uh, visible. Okay, uh, so this needs to be a bit larger something like 36 maybe um, Maybe more like this Okay, uh, I need to set a stroke width. Uh, no, that's too big, too small, sorry. Okay, this looks better, stroke width. Um, and this is going to be something like uh, I don't know. Oh. Um. Let's see. Um. How's that? Um, this looks a lot better, actually. Okay, I'm going to leave it like this. Uh, next, so I have uh, this, then I have um, the arc, uh, then I'm going to have a horizontal line, and this one is going to go um, all the way up to, I don't know, something like 12. Is that good? Um, yeah, 
it seems pretty good. Actually, I'm going to increase it a bit because I'm also going to have a stroke line cap round. Okay, uh, not round, square, square. Square. Okay. So uh, that does it. Next, I'm going to have um, something like. Um, Actually, I should put this on, make it uh, and this is going to be something like minus 0.2 times um, I'm going to have a vertical offset, let's say 0.2 times uh, D. So I'm going to use this vertical offset uh, right here. Then I'm going to have vertical. And then I'm going to have horizontal. Um, and this is going to be something like 0.1. So let's see how that works out. Um, oh, so uh, this is going to be uh, 0. This should do it. Okay, uh, this is a bit too much, so it's not 0.2, so let's say something like this. Okay, this looks better. Uh, this is a bit too much, actually. Let's say um, something like this. Uh, too little. Okay, this would be perfect. Okay, it is. So uh, now that I've done this, uh, I'm also going to set um, fill oh, on none, uh, and then I'm going to have circle. And uh, the radius is going to be something uh, like 0 0.05. Okay, um, let's make fill orange so that it stands out. Uh, I'm also going to have a circle offset. And this is going to be, let's say it's going to be minus 0.15 uh, times that dimension. Let's see how that works out. So um, the offsets Okay, uh, that's a bit too much. So let's say something like this, more like it. Uh, and this should be a bit bigger. Let's see. Um, let's see, how's this? A tiny bit smaller. Okay, I'm going to leave it like this. This is just perfect. So just leave it like this. And now let's see uh, the compiled values. Okay, so I don't like the stroke width uh, and I don't like that volume. So I'm going to want to uh, round those. So um, this is going to be um, and this offset as well. Just uh, going to take it. So uh, this should do it. Okay. Uh, and now that I've done this, um, I'm just uh, going to remove this background from here. Uh, just take it out. I'll be left with this. And now I'm going to make this white. Okay. 
uh, and the background for this, the fill, um, I'm going to take it from here and it's this volume right here. Let's put it in there. So, um, yeah, let's take out uh, the opacity as well and we are done. So, yeah, this is it. And as you can see, uh, the compiled code looks really nice and it's probably under 250 bytes, which is great. You're going to find the link to the finished demo in the description below. If you have any comments or requests for future videos, you can drop them in the comments or send them on Twitter. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you want me to be able to do more in the future, please consider supporting my work in one of the ways explained in the description. With a donation, by getting me something off my Amazon wishlist, or at least by sharing this to show the world what SVG is for. In any event, thanks for watching.